Senator David Perdue made some headlines recently that he did not want to make, and it helped his challenger, John Ossoff, raise money. But will it help him gain votes? Jeff Hollinger talked about it with NBC's Chuck Todd. Well, here in Georgia, this race between John Ossoff and Senator David Perdue takes a lot of twists and turns that we have not expected. The mistake or blunder, or perhaps Senator Perdue today doesn't believe that, but if you believe John Ossoff, who has raised millions of dollars as a result of it, the mispronunciation of Senator Harris's name, it's another one of those sort of small things yeah. seemingly that has taken on a life of its own that may hurt him as we get close to Election Day. Well, and this, this happens, especially if you go into a, this happens a lot to first-time incumbents. You know, the other problem is, you know, how well-defined was David Perdue with voters already? And, and so when you're not so well-defined, and the first-term incumbents usually aren't, uh, especially it's that much harder this year because you're sharing, I mean, having two Senate races and so many candidates that are well-funded and competing for the airways, you know, only one thing might break through. And that's the, that's the problem for, for David Perdue in this sense is that it's really hard for anything to break through, I think, right now in Georgia politics. So, but boy, David Perdue broke through that day, right? It went viral and it broke through, and I think, He's learning a tough lesson of, you know, in a very limited bandwidth that, frankly, I think Georgia viewers and voters are, have right now because it's just, you know, look, let's be realistic. You guys are overdosing on political ads. You're ODing <laughs> on political persuasion right now. And there's only, my guess is it's coming across as white noise to a lot of people. Chuck, how about the post-debate reaction last night? We saw the president more polite. Perhaps that helps... Republicans down ballot with a more courtly behavior last night that won't be quite as divisive to some voters. That's what I, that's been my uh, sense about this, and certainly the the conversations I've had today with various sides that that seems to be the 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 um, relief on the Republican side and and the disappointment on the Democratic side that hey you know yeah the president's behavior uh, did a little bit of that. But here's the other thing that you need to be aware of is that when you look at who, you know, we get asked this question, who's left, who's actually undecided? Well, it is a small slice, but we've, I've, we've done a deep dive on who these folks are, and there is sort of a, a pattern to them. These are right-leaning voters. But then the real question is, and this is where, this is where I, I'm not sure how impactful the debate will be ultimately, is this an issues election? Is this an economy election? Or is this a character election? You know, that's my sense is that if, if the president could somehow create an issue election and make it about the economy, he might have something to run on here, but it's possible that that's too late.